Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna do something kind of interesting. Um, if you're anything like me and you like IC, um, over the years you've maybe wondered how an IC badge is like put together. Uh, because obviously there is a plastic insert, um, and you'll probably see it a lot on second gens where the plastic insert falls out, and it's just the the, the plastic. Uh, part of the badge without the IC in it and um, I mean I know you can tell that something is glued in obviously uh, but I've always wondered what it actually looks like or how it goes together and here recently I got an IC badge off of a bus that um, well let's just say in the process of it me taking it off the bus the inner piece fell off um, and normally when the inner piece falls off it's lost you know like you don't get that piece uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that and um, just kind of compare it because I will tell you this IC badge has seen better days um, I want to say it's off of a 07 CE so um, again it has seen better days um, so let's go ahead and get started so just for a little bit of comparison uh, I did bring two good IC badges, and then I also brought an IC badge that I have that mi is, is completely missing the inner piece. Um, so we have an IC badge here. This is the uh, standard or old style, whatever you want to call it, where the C is within the I. It doesn't stick out. Uh, and this is off of a 2004, so it really has good color for its age. But I've never seen a first-gen IC badge have its inner piece fall out, and I just think that says something about uh, production at the time. Um, so that's what it looks like. Good color, everything. Uh, this is an IC badge from at least a 14 model year bus uh, where the C sticks out of the I, which personally I love this style IC badge. I, I think they should be on all newer buses, and I'm hoping with the new design that this is what they're going to be using or something like it. Um, but anyways, uh, this is just to show you what it should look like versus what I have, because the badge I have is, is very far gone, uh, but I am able to show you what it looks like. So, um, I'll go ahead and show you this badge. So this badge came off of Arbus 78, and yeah, you can see me. Hi. Um, we actually replaced the badge. Uh, so they bought a new IC badge, and I got to replace it, and that way it doesn't look stupid. Because I hate, hate, hate when IC badges look like this on a bus. It just looks god-awful. Um, and I know it's something small, and I don't expect districts to replace it, but, you know, I'm, I'm glad that the one that one bus that we had that did this, we, we replaced it. Um, so you can see there's a leftover of adhesive here uh, from where the inner piece used to be. Um, and that's, I mean, that's usually what you see. Well, here is the IC badge that I took off of a bus where the inner piece is um, broken, basically. It's it's in there now, but if I, if I let go of it, it will fall out. So you can tell this IC badge has definitely seen way better days. Um, so the inner piece basically comes out like this. Um... Now, on the badge itself, you have the yellow part with the IC, and I don't know what you want to call this. It's like, it's it's really fragile. I don't know if you'd call it paper. Uh, but my guess is that the paper starts its life out on the plastic piece here and has adhesive on the back, and that's how that goes together. That's my guess. Uh, but this piece here, you can kind of see this sticks out a little bit to give the illusion of um, where the the IC is um, popping out if you see what I mean so that that is one thing I always was curious about about how it, that was achieved where you know I wondered is that an actual plastic piece in there that's stuck out like that or what is it so it's a combination of the little uh, paper or whatever you want to call it sticking up and the fact that on this plastic piece here, it is carved in, um, like the outline is engraved into the plastic so that it has that look. And when the 
uh, paper or whatever, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, I'm just going to refer to it as paper, um, is in there, you get this effect from it. So it looks like it's sticking out and, you know, that's, that's how you get that effect. Uh, but basically that's what the plastic insert piece would look like. And, um, every time I touch this, more of it wants to come off, but as you can see, it just keeps wanting to peel off. But like I said, my guess is, is this piece starts out with this entire backing um, covered with the paper or whatever you want to call it. Um, so obviously this, all this yellow and the C and everything, starts out on the back of this plastic piece. Um, and I would assume there's an adhesive on the back of this. And that way they just, you know, they when this logo is being manufactured... Um, or the emblem rather it just snaps in there and you have your IC badge so that's pretty much how it goes together you know I thought it was pretty interesting to get to see this because most of the time when these fall out they're gone and you end up with this um, so the way this all happens is since there is a small gap in between um, I would assume that with the newer buses the, the adhesive or maybe the piece itself does not go down as far. I'm not really sure because this one right here is even popping. You can see where my nail almost will go under it, um, but it's it's popping out, and that's how you get that. Because if you notice on here, it looks like you've got some um, real yellow discoloration, and sometimes you'll see a tint of green, which I kind of think is. Um, where water gets that gets in there and it it uh, mildews a little bit uh so that does not help it um but i i think that's how that starts is water gets in those little seams and then it just breaks down the yellow paper and the adhesive and before you know it it's gone now when i was taking this ic badge off of the bus this was still in place not very uh well but it was in place and um you know, it, it had not popped out yet, but when I went under the badge with my tool and started to pull it, it started to flex and this just popped. So um, that's a reason why there's just so much, so much of the yellow and everything has peeled away because of when it popped, you know, it, it popped out and it, it took a lot of that with it because all of it, it's all brittle and just touching it, it crumbles and falls off. So. Um, you know, I just think it's interesting to see how this goes together, and I thought some of you might find it interesting too, um, because personally, and I'm fairly biased, because you all know I like IC, but when it comes to the logos of today, the IC logo, especially this one, is my favorite, and, um, those of you who know me, and just a quote that I like to say, you can never have enough IC badges um, God only knows how many I actually have because I've got, I've probably got 10 or more physical hood badges. Um, and then I have a, a handful of the yellow diamonds. I have one black diamond with an IC badge on it. Um, I have IC like C E R E F E A C H C, um, emblems that go next to the door. And, I mean, the point is, is you guys know me, I like IC badges, it's something I like to collect, so it's not like I'm just taking IC badges so that nobody else has IC badges, it's just something I like to collect, and, you know, my friends know that they can never go wrong with gifting me an IC badge, because IC badges are my favorite. I just, I don't know, I like them, I, I like the way they look, and, you know, that's because I like IC, and not everybody likes IC, and that's fine. But me personally, I like IC. I love the badges. And I just think it, it's it's interesting to see how these go together. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Is this the way you thought it went together? Um, is this what you expected to see when one was taken apart? Uh, let me know. Um, I personally, you know, I, I, I knew it was a piece. But I really, I did not expect there to be where this is carved into the plastic. I just expected it to be, honestly, that there was something on here, like maybe the plastic piece was on here, and it popped out from this piece. Not that it popped out 
from this piece. So that's why whenever I see these, I'm always curious of, of or I was curious of how it went because you generally what's left over is just the adhesive. Like you don't see it, you don't see any of this. I mean, sometimes if it's fresh, you'll see remnants of this, um, but generally it gets washed away or it just takes the entire thing with it when it falls and you just don't get to see that. So I think it's interesting to see how it goes together. I hope you guys did too. Um, so I'm going to stop talking. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think and yeah.